Hey, today's my last day. This is how we get there. Did a little snippets. Take the elevator from the 15th floor. Step one. This elevator ride usually takes a while, but stay tuned for the step two. Step two usually is scootering, but since I have my bike in the office and today is my last day, I kind of got to bring it back with me. So I woke up about 15, 20 minutes earlier than usual, and I'm walking to Penn Station instead of scootering to catch the 6.31 a.m. train. So usually I leave the house 6 a.m. by scooter and then trying to catch the 6.31 train. Yay. We are now approaching the corner I used to live on. Okay. Uh, I'm a little down the street. I'll show it in a second. Right there. Oh, right there. That's the building I used to live in, right? And uh, I'd scooter too. It was about, I think, 12 minutes long. Now, little days, it's 17 minutes by my scooter. I'm carrying uh, lots of items, either, uh, either items for the free store, which is just you put stuff outside, people come out and you pick it up for free. And I was like, today I'm walking, I don't want to carry that. It's a heavy bag. And then nowadays I also carry the packages. And I have a gazillion there. So I said, you know, I don't want to lug those around either. Especially by walking. Uh, oh my gosh. My legs are tired. Midweek, my legs are kind of shot from scootering. I keep pushing through. Okay. And then another thing. My sneakers I have on. This is game over. Last day, they are, they are almost done. Like, let me show you these things right now, everyone. Like, these are from all from scootering and playing tennis. Let me get it, let me get it. Okay, got a nice hole in the, the toe. Okay, the inside, like right there. My fingers are moving, the back of the heel. That's not doing good. And then it has no soul. That's what scootering does to your shoes, kids. But funny enough, your shoes uh, I found. All right, I was doing laundry one day and I see a lady carrying a trash bag, looked to be like a trash bag full of shoes into the trash room. So I waited, I was waiting for the elevator to go up the elevator and I saw her go by and I was like, okay, let me wait for her to leave the trash room, right? So then she leaves the trash room and I sneak, I sneak in there, right? And I go in and I go through this bag of shoes. They're all my size, 27.5 centimeters. I don't know if they're men's or women's shoes, but what's the difference? They fit nice. So I found these nice pair. I designate them as, I've designated them as scooter shoes, right? And then I found another pair of shoes, which have been my nice walking pair and everything. And I'm like, these shoes had a complete soul to them. I just showed you the pair I have on now. Barely anything. There's something left to them, but like, no soul. And the shoes I found, they were beautiful. Like new, it's not new. They didn't even look like people wore them. And it's like, come on, why are you throwing away like new shoes? So I hope you get something out of this. Uh, that it's okay to walk, just don't walk with heavy things. But more importantly, don't throw away nice things still. Things, uh, any objects that you have, find a place to donate them. Like I said, I take stuff to the free store, take it to the thrift store, sells it. Um, do something with it, good for the community. Facebook Marketplace, just put it up for free. Yeah, 1,001 people that will message you. But if you put five bucks, so, five bucks. You might not get as many, but show someone is more so dedicated to picking it up instead of just sending you a message that says free, right? Right here. So, yeah. And then wear, wear your stuff to the maximum point. If you don't feel like having any more, then you get rid of it by selling it or giving it away, most importantly. We're just trying to take stuff out of landfills give uh, our items a second life so 
thank you for listening to me on my usual month or usual morning rant. It's now hump day Wednesday. So this is the kind of stuff I think about every day. The scooter is a good way to clear the mind. I making good progress here on our journey. So yeah, next step, train. I have made it to Penn Station. There's Empire State Building. Okay. It is a humid summer morning out here. Okay, this is the best part. That's why I push through. I push through on my scooter every morning because I know as soon as I come in, I get conditioned air. Man, when you're pumping sweat, from, and the, it's humid out, it's awful. But going to find the train, get a few morning commuters. Uh, a lot more people coming into New York than, than leaving. Here, waiting for the train times. Okay, I get weather updates and I get random news updates. Um, what is this one? Buzz Aldrin flight to Moon Jacket sold for 2.8 million. Yeah, and then I get the sports updates on there usually. But yeah, last night I stayed up and watched a little bit the end of the Mets Yankees Subway Series first game. At City Field, uh, yeah, Yankees lost, I think it was 6-3. They had potential, but they weren't looking hot, made some errors, but, okay. Yeah, I guess it's 6, is it 6 Here, a bit early for 6-31 train. But, yeah, I'll be on the train soon. I'm in the train hall, the new Moynihan train hall, which opened up, I think, like, the second day of the year. I remember I came, like, when I was open for, like, the fourth day. But, yeah, just waiting to the train, track 19, here we go, nice and early, like 10 minutes, uh, time to talk to my train friend, Avery, here we go, I never want to sit in the back of train cars, these things never stop, yeah, don't know why, the doors were shut, so I walked to the fourth car from the back, perfect for when I get out and I scooter. So, I'm telling you everything is to the dime here. Whole morning routine. Sometimes I try to switch it up a bit by sitting on the other side of the train. The two seats are in three compared to the three seats. Yeah, here we go. On the train. Yay. Okay. We're here, off the train. Train actually came on time. Or I should say one minute late, but we left one minute late. We got the other one going at 7.06. Man, our train always leaves after it. So, now I gotta hustle for the bus. I think it's 7.08. It's 7.07 or 7.06 right now. I just said goodbye to my friend, Yuri. Ah, uh, yeah been friends for over a year just in the morning 20 30 minutes of talking every day we become good buddies also we were talking about how there's people you just wave to you just gotta be friendly i don't know there's a lady on the train another lady she just started working taking the train every day you just say wave have a good day or the bus driver that i used to see on my scooter i wave to and then uh, one day I said, when's the last day of school? I said, oh, it's tomorrow, Friday. And that was the last time I'd see her. But I saw her the other day. She honked at me. I was leaving work. So just got to be friendly with people. Oh, it's a fun time. So yeah. Now we're going on the bus. Walk to train to bus. Hour and a half all together plus. Oh my gosh. Okay, on the way to work. We have made it. 7.25. I've made it. Okay, the last day here. Oh man, nice place, beautiful campus. Uh, yeah. So here we go, final day of my long, long, long adventures. And that's a wrap, folks. We, I'm out of here. No more drama, gossip, finger pointing, people not opening their doors. It's, it's a beautiful day. Peace out from Kings Point. Bye-bye.
at the train now. Great Neck train station waiting for the 4.16 p.m. train. Got my bike today. Got some uh, leftover stuff. Got my racket in my bag. I'm about to do my daily afternoon stretches now. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm now at the train station. I just said goodbye to their friend Francis, conductor. Uh, let, me, let me stop here, folks. The conductor on the afternoon train. Good guy. He listened to me all the time. And now I'll say goodbye to my friend on the morning train. Just fellow co-worker. Not, not at my place, but just a fellow fellow worker going to work every day. We became good buddies. Yeah, so just a good time. Good people. I say goodbye to Joe. Another good buddy. Just gossip and whatnot with him. So yeah, on the bike. Manhattan. Got three more days of this craziness. Three more days and then from out here I come.